Hey guys, welcome to SLC's Live. Hey. Hey. So, got Andy back in the studio with us today, and guess what? It's finally here. We are doing moccasins. So, we've got our lovely moccasin pattern um, that we put out a couple years ago. Um, I believe that he's come up with a couple variations as far as soul goes. Souls. It's just different options that you can choose to or choose not to do. You can do whatever you want because they're your moccasins. And that's what leather crafting is all about. So we are just sitting here burnishing the edges of the soles that Andy has put on these little suckers that we've got here. So I guess... Those are moccasin suckers. No? Yeah? That's what that is? Yeah. Oh, I mean, if they slip, are they technically slippers? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> going to be a sucker for whoever's feet go in them. <laughs> All right. So these are our original pair of moccasins that we did for the kit. Um, Andy has made a couple different alterations specifically because he wanted to allow a little bit more room inside the shoe. Is that correct? Yep. So in the pattern, we do talk about how you can add um, this kind of layer of foam here. We've got this wrapped layer, and it's pretty intensive layer of foam. So you could make it a lot shorter. Um, I almost want to say he's probably got like two layers of the the gray seating foam in here. I'm not sure. Because it is like a half an inch thick. Tony, you want to go up? Sure. Thanks. So we've got this whole little inside layer right here is foam. Um, and so I believe in the, the, in the instructions we talk about adding this kind of foam padding layer here. You can add a much thinner one, you could use a different style foam, or you could leave it out altogether. I know for me, I typically wear a barefoot shoe that really has a pretty minimal sole to it. You don't, you don't necessarily need a lot of cushion. Um, the leather will kind of mold to your foot and, and it really should be pretty set. But Andy found that it was really tight on the toes yeah. <laughs> um, with this amount of padding in it. So that's just something to be aware of. Well, and another thing why I, I didn't do this inner sole there. This is real narrow. I would think that your toes might roll off the edges a little bit too. Oh, so. gotcha. So maybe making it, if you have a little bit of a <laughs> wider foot, making that, that base a little bit wider as well. Because you do have quite a bit of room in there yeah. that you could that you could build onto. So, well, all right, well, let's get going. You have the directions? I have the directions. I don't need those. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <clears throat> well, I'll skip the first few parts of this because it's cutting out and I've already yep. done the, the tedious stuff of punching holes individually. So what do we got? We've got Cut one right and one left of this. Yep. Cut one right and one left of this. Or maybe well, it's this symmetrical. Sh this should be symmetrical. Okay, so just two of those. And then punch all of these super lovely holes. We've got our fringe already cut, which is this pattern here, and punched. And then you've got two of these that we've got with the heel. And what did you use for this, Andy? Um, I had to write it down here. Let's see. It was uh, Luna Bagside Black and Whiskey. Okay. So you're using our special purchase Luna Bagside Leather for this. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to go straight to... Uh... Well, why don't you talk about what you've already done here with the sole? All right. Okay. <clears throat> well, I took the, the standard sole here and cut it out. And once I had it cut out... I did another sole just on veg tan, and then I went in and marked my line with a uh, divider or a compass, whichever one you choose to use. Um, one that's not so wide, so uh, doesn't stick out when you're wearing it, like out here. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then I stitched that on. And then I almost did like a, a welt on a shoe. I, uh, there you go. I glued another piece to this one. It's a little out of focus here. Yeah. There. there we go. <laughs> and then <clears throat> I groove the bottom of the shoe so when I sew, sew it on, you're not going to be walking on your stitching. So it hopefully lasts quite a bit longer there. Um, 
So how much room did you allow when you cut the, the sole? Uh, I left enough room that I could do my... Uh, what do we... So maybe you <clears throat> took it in like a quarter of an inch yeah, from the overall? Just on the inside of the, uh, the stitch line or lace line. Okay. And yours may vary, whichever one you find that works best for you. You said you went a <clears throat> size up? When you yes. compared your foot to the pattern? Yes, I did. <clears throat> Which that might not be for everybody, but it was for, for me. Just in case I want a big, thick wool sock on inside the, the moccasin. All right. <clears throat> and one of the most important things on starting this, uh, your pattern hard to tell there but you've got little squares that's that's uh where you start your your like do they call it lacing where you start the vamp yes okay oh look look you have corresponding diamonds yeah. is that correct <clears throat> yes okay so you, when you start you would line those line those up with your look at that yeah These, these directions are pretty good, but sometimes it's, it's still a little confusing looking at all, all the different pictures here, so. Hey, we got Lithuania today. We got France. Woo! Today, Pretty Bird said I've been watched in full stalker mode for months. Just thought I'd say hello. Well, welcome to the chat. What was it? Pretty Bird. Pretty Bird. I like that. Maybe like Down and Down. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hopefully not. <laughs> Who knows? I taped his head back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Do you only I have am. one set cut out or do you have two yeah. sets cut out? I, I have one set. Wow. You could work on one too. That's what I was gonna say. I could I could build one. I flipped Andy. over I flipped Andy, over Facebook uh -huh. and uh Ryan the Anvil is on there. What's up, Ryan? He's like, what about Anvil? Anvil's watching. <laughs> I mean you're across you're, you're always just here. There. You're not that far away. Just drive over, Ryan. So, yeah, you could just come join us. I got some info for you. Wink wink. <laughs> Did you just use black smooth cell? Yes. Okay. So this is just our Hermit Oak black smooth on the bottom, and then it looks like just a piece of import on the top. Yep. Yep. Whatever we had lying around in small pieces. <laughs> Andy scoured the shop for for some remnants. Well, you can have that one. Thanks, Andy. I already did a little work on this one. Okay. I see that. I see that. He already got it folded up. Oh. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Facebook has started anything. I can feature items. Ooh, during? I have no idea what that means. It's like, start featuring an item, but there's nowhere to insert an item. Whatever. Like, insert a link. Fancy. Thanks, Facebook. How's everybody doing today? I tell you what, last week I was talking about how amazing and beautiful it was, um, and then Monday came here, and it turned to winter. Like, Sunday was 75 degrees or something amazing, and then and then this week it's been in the 30s and really cold and, and pretty dreary. I'm not excited about it. But, you know, it is December, so I suppose it's due. Okay. Mikey, are you going to the NFR? Have you been over to the NFR? It says watch it from Las Vegas. It's going on right now. Wow. Yeah, I don't, like seven, I don't seven, know what the seven, NFR is. National, mm -hmm. national mm -hmm. Rodeo Finals. So do I need to stitch these together face-to-face? -to -face? Well, that's not the step yet, but oh, you can if you want. Okay, I'll do what you're doing. Let's we'll see if we mess it up here. Okay. Monkey see, monkey do. How much? How much thread do I need? Uh. In here, they use two different pieces. I tried to make it long enough so it'll go all the way around. All the way around the shoe. Yeah. So I did four times plus a, a little bit. That's what I normally do for saddle stitching, but you're you're going, you know, losing quarter inch each time you're. Oh yeah, that's a lot. On each stitch, so. <clears throat> Got first time chatter on uh, Twitch music, WP music. Girl. She said, "Fun." 
Well, that's interesting. Well, we got like five countries so far: Germany, Lithuania, France. Okay. We're so international. USA and Canada. That's fancy. Yeah. Look at us go. And, oh, and Alabama. No uh, pressure, six, Andy. Six countries. The whole world is watching you, but no just pressure. The whole world. Yeah. The whole, every person. Everybody yeah. around the world. <laughs> so, Andy, what do you do if your lace or your stitch doesn't go all the way around? How do you? What do you do? Um. Well, it shows in here somewhere. If you run out. One of these pages. Yeah, that looks right good. here. So, let's see here. Step 31, it talks about if you tying on a new thread. I think you basically, let's see here. If you reach the end of your thread, tie a knot at the end and trim, then thread a new needle, insert it under the last stitch on the flush side, tie a knot in the new thread to secure it uh, to the end. Thread the needle through the next hole and continue stitching. So, yeah, not so bad. Why do the, I need this? Oh, to I marked my the squares on that, but I didn't on the vamp. Oh, gotcha. Mike said they've been to uh, his store this last week. Andy actually helped um, one of the sponsors attach the down to a bronco, a bronco halter, or a bronco harness. Do you remember this, Andy? Uh. There's so much stuff I do, I forget things. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we got instructions. Um, this isn't necessary, but I just tied off the loose end, so when I'm lacing, it's not trying to pull my oh, end through. Because we're not saddle stitching, are we? No. No, we're not. We're whip stitching. Yeah. Yeah. You could saddle stitch. The only thing that wouldn't be very good about a saddle stitch is you'd have this top quarter inch you know a little lip for everything to get caught on so one two three four and here more Canada in there is Mike Jones watching he's probably not watching the country of Texas the country of Mike Texas. Swain is watching hi Mike Swain hey Tony did we ever figure out if, if Mike Swain was the I love gummy bears. Was the floral guy? What? The floral guy? Mike Swain. Oh, was that? No, I have not watched that over again. I've only watched the live five-hour shopping four or five times. Yeah, Tony and I have been, um, <laughs> <laughs> just, we're, we're, we're gatherers this week, and we are attempting to fill all of the wonderful orders from our five hours of live sales on Cyber Monday. Um, it took us all week to get all of those transactions put into the system with the help of our lovely um, office staff. But Mike, if you're the one that kept not getting the the ox blood floral and you really wanted it and you talked about it a lot, just shoot us a message real fast because we might have a piece for you. If you're the one. If you're I not the one, just was, say that wasn't me. <laughs> I can't remember if it was him or if it was Stromella. Yeah. Stratford, Missouri. Russia. Andy, talk to us about what you're doing. Um, and maybe do it over here. I'm just quadruple checking. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of hard to see. I can switch to that camera. Oh, look at that. Okay. Which camera is that? This one over here. This one. <laughs> <laughs> and to your left. So we've got our two uh, squares lined up. I'm just making sure that I'm going diagonally through the correct holes before I get three quarters of the way through the project and notice I'm in the wrong direction. So what do we... So you sew diagonally. Yeah. You go through a hole straight, which is the square, and then it... Yeah. Gotcha. I feel like it wants me to start on the inside of my shoe and I'm starting on the outside of my shoe. I'm not sure what this camera 3 is looking at. There's the first step. Inside. Inside. Hang on a second. Hold on. Alright. I'm putting it on Liz. Okay. How's that? Uh, Mike Taylor said, are you guys doing an online sale today? We normally do them on Thursdays, Thursdays but 
But we're not done with last week yet, so we're not going to... Our cameras today are creatively placed as <laughs> there is still a lot of leather that's in this room. Tony um, and I just cleared it out about, like, five minutes ago. It, Preston Kelly says, are you still filling orders from the 30th that weren't live sales? We can look and see what... I don't know what date they're on back there. They should be past it. I know if you um, purchased a, like one of the $100 um, surprise boxes, we are still working on getting those compiled. And so I believe we're going to start shipping the orders that have been holding on those. We're going to start just shipping the rest of the order out. And then as we build the $100 boxes, we'll, we'll send those out separately. Um, so if you had one of those on your order, it was probably holding it up a little bit. But we're just going to go ahead and start processing Right, because they're going to be packed in a different box anyway, so yeah. we figured we could just get them out. Yeah. Let's see if I can find Preston's order. I wanted to comment on how cute you guys' mugs are. They're so, like, crafty. <laughs> I know. I, I told him in here before, I, I feel like I have mug competition now with Andy and his cute little mug. All right, let's see him. Mm, oh. Right here. Oh, Would you, come come on in, Andy. Here, wait, hold on. Oh, there, you go. there it is. See, look how cute his mug is. Where'd you get him? Uh, mine was from a yard sale. <laughs> <laughs> mine was from a renaissance fair. Oh. <laughs> she has you beat there, and he's yep. But who knows where yard sale person got it. It could be very exciting. from, like, Africa or something. Yeah. Don't mind me. I already missed a hole. It's funny. We have, we have two Preston Kellys. One was an L-E-Y and one with an L-Y. And I looked at the wrong one. <laughs> There was a lot of fun on those live sales because, you know, Abigail was typing in names really, really fast. And so every once in a while there would be a, a misspelling. But then we would have a customer with that misspelled name in our system. And so there was a, a couple of estimates that got sent to uh, some people that weren't the right people. And then we had to fix it and send it to the right people. So Well, you gave a great... Um, it's fine. Preston did get $100. Oh, look at that. Surprise box. Yeah. So. so your order should probably be shipping today, and then we'll send the $100 box at another time. That's probably... So sorry about the delay in that. We thought we were going to be able to get them out a little bit quicker, but it turns we out... We were expecting 120 of the $50 boxes to yep. be... the $50 made. boxes took a while because we didn't build them until we actually had the orders for them. Right. And so... And um, then there was a, over 100 of the $100, $100 boxes, <laughs> so... Um, we're super excited catalogs. about that. So... Good news. Good news, guys. Oh, did Abigail do our TikTok video? I don't know. I, so. I didn't Sweet. see it. That's awesome. <laughs> so we did receive our first shipment um, of catalogs. We the, the printer is filling those orders for us, so um, I don't know. We, this is the first time that we've had an outside company fulfill our catalog shipments, uh, so I don't know if they'll email us or call us or let us know when they're out, but they should be shipping from the catalog company. So if you have requested a catalog sometime since, like, February, because that's when we were we out of our... We sent a list of over 3,000, 4,000 names. Yeah, so if you have been, you know, diligently requesting a catalog every few months, um, yours should be on the way here shortly. So yay for that. We we're excited. Somebody say purple, purple leather. Is there any of that Gilbert grape over here? Um, it's out in the hallway. I pushed, oh, I pushed it into the other room because oh, okay. there wasn't any room in here. I mean, we do all sorts of weird stuff on this anyway, so if you come in here, some, we'll show that purple leather here in a little bit after you guys. Does somebody just want purple leather? I, they just said purple leather with some question marks. Well, I think there's some other purple leather in there, too. Oh, you yeah. know, I'm really not oh, sure yeah, what I'm is, doing. But I don't have more of this. Yeah. I don't even have more than Gilbert Grape either. It gets me confused. I don't think I can do this and talk at the same time, so I'm just going to sit on this stool. <laughs> And I will entertain you because Andy is painfully quiet. Painfully missing holes. <laughs> All right. So talk. Let's let's see here. Are you going in one and out one? Diag. Let's. Yeah, that's this is the diagonal part it keeps getting me mixed up here. Okay. All the Gilbert grape has been boxed. Just keep in mind the leather that we're showing you is sold. So. <laughs> right, you can't purchase it. Except for except for this one. Oh yeah, the one. that one you can purchase. Um, um, did we have any more rules of the lilac when we were there yesterday? Was that one that? 
No, or was it the gray that we had a couple we more? more of the gray. Okay. Purple oil tan. Oh, Tori says, you have grape colored leather? My only pending order is a $100 box. Unless it's shipped. Okay. I don't know, can you even see that leather that I've laid out there? Oh, it's down in the corner. A little bit. Yeah, so we've got it. That one is a stock. So this is a regular stock. This is our, um, hold on. Our metallic floral cow sides in a rose gold on whatever color we're calling this purple. So it's really pretty. This is the same leather for those of you that um, watched when Marvin made his bowl. This is just the purple version of the blue version that he used. Turquoise. Yeah. Turquoise is a, in the blue family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like a mix of blue and green. And then we've got, this is the lilac. Music Girl said, I got the lilac. Awesome. Yeah. So that should be on its way to you at some point. Tony and I, once again, we're, we're working on it. We we got to the point where we have filled all the orders um, now that don't have our exotic boxes. And now we have to build the exotic boxes. Welcome, Jeff. Jeff is watching on his lunch. And then this is one of the upholstery. This was like a deep amethyst, more in Giles hide that we sold. So, super beautiful, but once again, it's sold. <laughs> yeah, so all of our videos should save on Facebook and should save on YouTube. That was the question. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> Let's see. It's okay. I'm not talking, and I no? can hardly do this. So we got an overall <laughs> under of how many words you're going to say for this episode. <laughs> uh, Are we taking bets? Uh-huh. <laughs> Will we be able to get a catalog in store? Tyler Jenkins, you can. Yes. Let us know if you've requested one so we can try to take you off that list. Or if you have requested one, maybe not pick one up in the store. All right. Got people from the country of Texas talking, trying to, trying to make a lead up. The country of Texas. Yeah. Andy, would it would it help if you had like a stitching horse? No. No. I don't think so. I'd end up getting my lace caught on everything. Yeah. So at this point, we're just we're just doing we're just doing these moves right here, just in and out, in and out, all the way around. We should have um, cooking showed this. Cooking showed this. What? I don't know how. Oh. Get it started when you put it in the oven. You got one that's already cooked, and you can pull it out. It's going pretty good. Don't mind me. I, I talked and missed another hole. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a project that you can explain. Then he also said that we needed to make this stretch until Friday, so he didn't. He wasn't ready to do a video on Friday again. Yet. We are, for everybody that has um, saw Denny's awesome suspenders, we are going to be doing that. We're waiting on um, getting some hardware in for some options as far as attaching the spenders to your belt. But Jeff was kind enough to bring in some of the examples that he's made over the years, because Jeff is our suspender guy, but he doesn't want to do a video, Jeff. So he, he brought in the his suspenders, and Denny made that pair that he was wearing the other day. I, I, so. don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce his name. A-N-S-S-I. It doesn't seem like it has enough vowels, but they're from Finland, which is probably why I can't pronounce it, because mm -hmm. the A has dots over it in their... So you line. don't speak that? Yeah, I don't speak Finnish. Minus 18 degrees Celsius, which is even colder. That's why I don't live here in, the in North Finland. Pole. About zero Fahrenheit, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what was the degree? Day length was five hours and 31 minutes today. Luckily, no snow. It doesn't feel so dark. Daylight was five hours and 31 minutes. Do you want us to shoot a camera up into the blue sky Ooh. here for you? You can see will that, some. Will that help some you out with some blue sky at, in Missouri? Uh, I think that would be so tough. Like short days like that. Yeah, like do you have one of those one of those red light things? Because I probably wouldn't survive. I get super, even right now. I don't like it. I don't like going home and it's already dark outside. How and many hours of daylight do we have here? I don't know, from like 8, like, like 7.30, 8 in the morning until 5. That's already rough. <laughs> yeah. 
Like it's it's dusk when I'm leaving and it's five o'clock. It's more than five and a half hours, but yeah. I mean, it is gorgeous where you are, but that that lack of sunlight in the winter that's no fun. I mean, I'd like to see the northern lights. Mm -hmm. How's it going? It's going slowly. He's tootling. No, he's so um, no tootling involved in these. <laughs> So I'll, I'll try to talk about some sole options here so we actually talk about this project as, as we work on this project. Hey, Joanne. Joanne says, can, can we talk about, the, what does she want to know about the moccasin construction? We're going on the instructions, we're going in one hole and then out another <laughs> hole and then in the next hole and then out the next hole. There's not a whole lot to talk about on it. it <clears throat> we're just trying to get to the, through this step. It, if you're not paying attention, because you, your hole... Oh. <laughs> your holes are almost directly apart from each other and then eventually they start getting diagonal and that's sometimes when I've been missing my holes so yep this is a this is <clears throat> the vamp part of the moccasin I can pull up that one tight ah I'll pull them tight once I'm Okay, so you can you're gonna do that at the end. Yeah. Okay, so basically what we've got here is Andy has constructed um, the sole of this already. So he did. Hmm. I don't know where you want to be. You want to be I don't know. Yeah. So he put together this base layer that he has stitched on to um, the, the actual sole part that you are going to be putting your foot up against. So you cut out your main pattern for whatever size fits you. Andy said, don't just like go off of, of the sizing chart, like put your foot here and make sure that everything is lining up correctly. Um, if you have a wider foot, you might need to go to a, a wider style um, or a, a bigger shoe so that you can accommodate that because it's pretty narrow. I, just moccasins in general, I know like when we sold them in Tonkas on retail, they just tend to be narrow anyways. So just keep in mind to make sure that you are getting the correct size for what you need. Um, so he cut this out of a piece of our, our mm, Whiskey Luna leather, and then he assembled an outer sole where he just took off like a quarter of an inch around this because you don't want the full thing because this folds up. So this is going to fold up and around. He assembled this section. He cut a groove in the bottom so that the stitch isn't laying um, flush. No, no isn't laying on top of the leather, it's laying flush inside the leather, which is always a sign of a good shoe. If you buy, I've bought my fair share of, of some nice leather shoes and I always get really frustrated when I look at the bottom of them and the stitch is laying on top of the leather because I know that I'm gonna wear that stitch out and it drives me crazy that they didn't groove it. And so take your, your freehand groover or just an edge groover, groove out your stitch line on this so that your stitch lays inside, inside that piece of leather. Ooh, we're jumping around. And then he just... I used to... So you, you sewed this to your piece of import first. Yes. So you sewed this yeah. to the import and then he glued this sole on and then sewed it again so that this stitch line right here is concealed between your two layers. Andy is making a style that does not have any inner padding. He's making a, a barefoot style moccasin. So th there'll be no internal padding here. Um, you can at this point if you wanted to, or maybe before you assemble this down. Yeah, if you yeah. wanted to put some If you wanted to put some padding in here, or... something like that, you could, you'd put it in before you put it onto the main sole. So that once again, you're concealing a stitch line if you have one. So that's what we've got here. He is now putting the vamp on this, you've got some diamond holes that you line up on your pattern. You've got this diamond hole here and this diamond hole here, and that's where you're going to start this front to sew the vamp onto the base. The vamp sews inside, so you basically you're sewing finish side to flesh side as it goes around, so this finish side will come up, and then the, the finish side here will go down inside. And he's getting there. Slowly. He's so there's no gap in there. You just pull those tight at the ends, or what's the? You can pull them tight right now, but at the end, it's a little easier to get all the little 
I don't know what you want. All to your call excess. Okay. Yeah. Um, all all of the uh, little ripples, trying to get, get those even. Consistent. Because yep. your bottom layer is always bigger than your top layer, like a racetrack. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. And it takes a lot of concentration to match up your holes. <laughs> it does for me. It, well, I couldn't I guess even it get started, her, so, so yeah. <laughs> and we're not even to the hard part. Oh, buddy. Trying to figure out how to line up this with the back. You can sew oh. that. Yeah, you can do that one. Okay, yeah, I can probably do that. So we've got... We've got... Uh, the back of the shoe here, we've already got it cut out and all those holes that are marked on the pattern is punched. And then you've got your fancy fringe, which is an optional, like you can put this on or leave it off or leave it straight, however you want to do it. But we're going to sew it together. So you roll this top edge here and sew it down and then fold it and then you sew this one. So I'll, I can do that. I think I can do that. I, sh I should be able to do that. I'll be quiet. We will find out. This is a saddle stitch. It been. can be. It is not a saddle stitch. Oh. Do you just go in and out? Yep. And then back the other way? A saddle stitch would make it so your stitching isn't like that back and forth. Is that more aesthetically pleasing on a moccasin? No. I I don't much <laughs> care for this, but I just went with how the uh, pattern... So the pattern says to go, you're going to yep, loop through all the way one and then go all the way back? Yeah. Oh, I see that. Oh. Well, you that could be decorative, too. Yeah. So you could just leave it with the every other. Yeah. All right. So there are options there, guys. I guess even if you got to the end, you could tie on a new color and go back the other way with a different color. Yep. You could. You sure could. I don't want that extra here. Let's see. John Adams, get the suspender clips that have a post in it. It goes through your jeans and even comes... Even if it comes unhooked, it stays in place. He wouldn't want to buy any other type of suspender fastener. So we actually have... Um, oh, we're going to sew those face-to-face -face and then fold them out. Is that right? We'll see what we come up with for the suspender. Um, yeah, there's a, one of the guys in our shop, Tyler, he has just on his belt, he's got like three loops that just stay on his belt. If he decides to wear the suspenders that day, he just clips them right in. Um, because I feel like he is similar to my husband, where he just takes off his pants and then they just hang up on the door and the belt never comes off of said pants. And then they just come off the next day and then they go on and you do that until you wear holes in them. <laughs> and they're no longer wearable. Just if you guys wanted to know that. Uh, Joanne asks, how do you determine the leather wrap link? It's all a pattern. So you buy the pattern that we kind of have and it was predetermined. Are there different sizes that we have with these? Do you yes. Pick the size you cut out different sizes of pattern? I think it's three, right? Uh, or maybe two. It's a bunch of different sizes, but it doesn't it's not specified on the instructions. No. There are there are many different sizes. And like like we said, just stand on it. Like actually let your foot kind of rest and stand on it and expand um, so that you'll get an idea of which one will fit you the best. They are labeled men's and women's, so you have a better idea of where to start. Probably. Since it's pretty flexible. Hey guys. Hey, Holly. Um, our adult moccasins, patterns, and instructions we have women's sizes 7 to 14 and men's sizes 8 to 13. So that's the sizing charts that we've been using. Perfect. Thank you, Holly. Yeah. Where you coming with helpful information? No problem. 
I think that's Keith says, hello, everybody. First time viewer on um, Hi, Keith. Twitch from Twitch. Normally, I think he's on Facebook or somewhere else. How do you like Twitch? What do you think? Are we are, are more people trying it out? I know that we talk a lot about people giving it giving it a shot, giving it a good. Oh, was there a so normally, Andy, when you do a saddle stitch, it's what three four times the length of what you're stitching. Yeah, you know, I always do four. But you did four on this as well. I did like almost five because we're doing that much extra per stitch. So yeah, yeah, it's a really long stitch. That's one thing about thread. It's not really super expensive. It's really not expensive. Yeah, so I mean, if you make it hard on yourself to have to tie it together, then... Or just throw out a few more nickels and yeah. get you a longer thread. I tell you what, sometimes, because knife sheaths, that, that's what I make when I'm not here. Um, <laughs> when it comes to, like, figuring out how much thread you need because they vary in thickness so much, mm -hmm. Um, I always get super nervous when I start getting to the end and my thread is, is short because I don't want to have to, to tie in new thread. I really hate doing that. I'd rather pull it all out and do it all again yeah. than have a spot where I've tied in. And so I always over overestimate. Um, sometimes, sometimes like I cut a little bit close and I don't really enjoy that. But I, I may have cut in a few needles really short. <laughs> To avoid that. Right? Yeah, that needle. You're just like, man, I totally have the thread for this. But the needle has to come out so much to go back in. That's I've never gotten that desperate before, but I could I could see that happening. We got that little tool that Denny has. You shove through the hole and it's got the hook on it. You wrap your thread back around and you pull it. Oh, you pull it. Yeah. So, you, yeah. so you, don't, you just take the needle off. What do you the, got? Not that I've used it that much. The, the speedy <laughs> stitcher or, or is it, I guess it, you could stick the needle back through the opposite direction and put it through the eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Andy's gotten real creative, it sounds like. <laughs> how, to, how to live life with short thread. <laughs> All right. It's a good shirt sleeve you got there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's see that toe. I'm trying to look at your toe, but your arm's in the way. I thought it was interesting. There's, there's a red thread on this button, but nowhere else. <laughs> Did you have a button come off? Did you get that one out of your yard too? No. <laughs> that is. I think this was the, the ten dollar specials from Walmart. Mm -hmm. They're stretchy. Is that a requirement for your shirts? They're more comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. What's next? So we got the toe laced up, stitched up. Oh, now you want to show the toe. Here, <laughs> hang on. Okay. There it is. <laughs> so I went back through after I pulled all my extra length out and just kind of stuck my all in and tried to make it Poked make them out. all even. Make all your ripples consistent. Yep. Yeah. Now for the, the fun part. That wasn't fun for you? <laughs> this is the part that gets me because it's going in and out of three different layers diagonally, making sure you don't miss a hole. Mm. Okay. So Andy has the part that I'm stitching now. He's got it pre-assembled over there, ready to go. We're going to get that on. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to attempt to get this on. It's going to happen. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. I hear all those jokers outside the door hollering and screaming. <laughs> Doesn't help that uh, the pitcher is on this side where it starts, but I'm on this side, so it makes my brain... Oh, because they... So the instructions have you do it with two pieces of thread and you're attempting to do it in one? Well, it used one piece but then it says if you reach the mm. end fyi yeah this is an option all right
one of these pages here. I'm just trying to see where I end here. You can hear Andy's thinking, yep. but I can. <laughs> the gears are grinding away. <laughs> so I think this is the part that was confusing me when I made my my test project. So you have to go through the top of your your vamp here and through the bottom, but don't go through this hole. Tony, you want to go to the side camera? Thanks. So hard to see. You go through the top and then the bottom of your vamp, but you don't go through your square hole that you marked. Oh, you skip it? You want to go through, once you go through your vamp, you want to go through the heel. The first hole in the heel, and then go through mm. the square hole. You're sticking that between your layers. Yep. Now, if somebody does this, and it doesn't work out, you can blame me. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me in the picture here, so. Yeah, that looks, that looks good, right? Yeah, you yeah. got it. Sure. I have faith. It looks great. So the pattern is $18 retail. $15 wholesale for the adult moccasins. Mm -hmm. so I'll put the link in. We'll put the link in the description. And all the chats. I linked you a child's one too. How's it going, Andy? Uh, I don't know. Because it shows there's four holes there. Another and I have four holes in it. So maybe that's not right. Away. <laughs> so you go through one and then back out the other one? Yeah. Insert the needle through the set of holes in the vamp. So you're going diagonally through the yeah. vamp. I just didn't go far enough. And then after you exit the bottom hole of the vamp, you're going to go through So I've already went the heel. Yeah. Scra scratch the last part I said. You do have okay. to go through the the mark square hole first. It's hard to hard to see there. You want to make sure you're coming out of the square hole and then you start. All right. So you happy? Yes. Well. Don't yeah. don't forget your your back piece. Yep. And it's just gonna be a slipper. <laughs> it's just a slipper. Oh, hey, you could do that. I don't know how well it would stay on your foot. You could you could sew in a elastic band that just goes over your heel. Mm -hmm. All the possibilities. It's your shoe. Make it how you want. And this part, I'm going to leave loose just so it's easier for me to... Tony, you want to go back to the side? Just so it's... Black wasn't the best choice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's easier to see my holes and line them up and get them through the correct hole in the, the heel here. Did you get my email, Liz? I 
think so. <laughs> and then hey, I think Joanne I think there was also a Facebook message that came through. Oh. Uh, Joanne said this could be a really creative project. Yep. Depending on what kind of level you would like to use. Andy? I feel like I've messed up already. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a few hundred holes. What size hole punch did you use? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> does it tell you? It probably does. Looks like you need about... A five sixty fourths round punch. That's very specific. It really depends on, I guess, how how big your thread or your lace that you're using is. And Don says, "Is Andy's having problems?" I don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're making the mistakes for you here. So. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm making the mistakes so you don't have to. I've done. <laughs> That's not good. I promise you he made one of these before we did this. Yeah. <laughs> the lights make him nervous. It's all these different countries that are watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Third to so and think about that. Norwegian. <sighs> so in your Does anybody in the room Speak a different language? Nope. Yep. <laughs> tell Billy. Just, just tell Billy. <laughs> Good old Ozarkian. Yeah. yeah. No. If you hear somebody from Missouri ever say, yeah, no, that means no. <laughs> and if you ever hear them say, no, yeah, that means yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Holly. You're welcome. <laughs> Alex says, hey, I know this is off topic for today's show. Alex, that's all right. <laughs> is out of bounds or off topic for our live shows. But I was wondering if you have done a video, oh, on cowboy suspenders. So he must have tuned in a little bit late. On cowboy suspenders? Like Denny was wearing. Are those, are those different from regular suspenders? Uh, just because Denny's a cowboy. Mm -hmm. And where's his? He's a country man. Are you sure? His blue jeans. Tuxedo. Yes. Yeah, that is that is our. Uh, I mean, as you can see, Andy here in his denim shirt. But he has It's khaki. not denim. He has, he has khakis on. It just looks, looks like, like it's it. denim. See you, Josh. Well, if you're coming in to check in, we have a suspender video of this coming. Yes. If 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 you're meaning if there's a specific meaning to your cowboy suspender request, let us know. Um, but we'll just be making some regular suspenders. And if you're a cowboy and you put them on, that makes them cowboy suspenders. In my book. So that's, wait, can you that's what Tony's going to go with. as a cowboy suspender, and then when you put it on, you become a cowboy? Oh. Well, that's fancy. Holly, you might have just you put on suspenders broke the universe. Cowboy hat yeah. just drops from the sky and lands on your head. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Boom, you're a cowboy. You better go buy a ranch soon. <laughs> Put computers in front of me and I don't run that. That's true. That's true. <laughs> a, a computer engineer at that. Put some leather in front of you and give you a leather crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work a little at it. Oh, and Chevy, uh, Chevy guy says, yeah, no, yeah means absolutely. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Exactly that. And you're, are I, you? I say sure a lot. Sure. I say that's fine. <laughs> in a real sarcastic twain. That's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody knows that it's not, but and we'll go you, with it. If you take the fine out just a little bit, it's like, uh, like that's a really good product. That's fine. 
Andy, did we get it? Uh, we'll see when we get to this side. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's encouraging. <laughs> Oh, so you pulled your you pulled your thread for the whole shoe. Yeah, so mm -hmm. hopefully I wouldn't have to oh my God. figure out how to tie something up that's not gonna rub your your foot or having multiple pieces of string confusing me even more. That might be the number one reason. Mikey said you're gonna need some chaps to be a real cowboy. <laughs> Denny just made a pair of chaps. We do have some. We have done some videos on chap making. Those are fun. There's a three-part series. Took a while. Did we do shotgun ones? Put the full-length zipper on them? Yep. That's what we, did. we sure did. <laughs> Barb said in Canada to be no, eh? <laughs> Ah, I don't know what I've done here. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, we might make some moccasins today. Uh, I, We're going to sew the toes on moccasins. The rest of it, you can just figure I, it out. On your I, I forgot my, my tea on the counter this morning, and I ran out, so I stole somebody's green tea with ginseng in it. So. Did it just ruin everything? Yep. Yeah. Not running on caffeine. Completely. You know we stock and make much coffee here. Much, much mini coffee. coffee. Much, much, mini. Mini. <laughs> much coffee. Much coffee be drinking. Is that, is that not your jam? No. I like I like me some tea. <laughs> the, the sweetened or the unsweetened variety. That's a whole different cop. You know, if you have some really nice black tea that you can make as black as coffee and it's not bitter, I don't have to have sugar. But for the most part, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so you drink your coffee with sugar? Lots. Drink your tea with sugar. I mean your tea. Do you guys know how I drink coffee? I feel like I feel like now um, it's my like goal is to find you the perfect tea. Have you found the perfect tea? Uh, I had tried some from, what was it, Tea Havana, mm -hmm. I think. It was some Chinese black tea. It was really good, but if somebody else has suggestions, not not tea with spice. I'm not a, an Earl Grey guy. Just, I guess we, we call it here is English breakfast, I think, just plain black tea. Hmm. Man, he's a bit of a plain. Yeah. So I drink creamer with a little bit of coffee in it. <laughs> That's how I drink my. Coffee. I like my heavy cream with a splash of coffee. I like That's what that's what a latte is. I'll just take like two shots with a lot of steamed milk. Good to go. I'll, I'll drink some coffee on on our winter winter float trips, but it's usually three quarters homemade hot chocolate mix, and then the rest <laughs> is coffee. That's not filler. coffee. It's just a filler. And it's percolated coffee, not... On your winter float trips? Oh, yeah. It's the that only way to do it. That doesn't, that doesn't sound like fun. No. There's no people and no bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and no sun. <laughs> the only two good parts. <laughs> and a nice chilly breeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Zero says it's that dang ginseng that's got Andy all wired up. <laughs> Andy, I haven't. Up? I haven't drank that much of it. Just two bags. Just two bags. Oh, Alex said he was. He was late. He thought maybe cowboy suspenders were all leather. Leather without oh. elastic strap oh. in the bag. Okay. Um, I feel like that would be mighty uncomfortable just to have complete leather suspenders with no. Hey. Hi, Darcy. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Andy. Yes? Um, those wallets that you made with the interiors. The new interiors. I have the new interiors. Yeah, did you make anything with it? No, we just got the dies for the wallet backs yesterday. 
Okay, so, so so we're deciding on what leathers we're going to choose uh, to put on the website, so you can purchase the backs with the wallet interiors. So. Oh, okay. I was under the impression you put one together. Um. He did a while ago, but he trimmed the the inside. I, I think the that's one. That's what I wanted to see. I I think there was some that went out to the floor that we had finished, but I'm not sure if there's any out there. But we can probably help you when our video's done. Huh. I said we could probably help you when our video's done. Oh, yeah. I forgot I was still talking. <laughs> okay. I was like, does Darcy know that we're lying? <laughs> All right, well, uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Darcy's face I've is red for the to see <laughs> Okay, well, I, I didn't even, I forgot you guys were even doing a video. I would, oh, what do you think they're doing? Oh, my God, I can't stop talking. I can't, I gotta go. Bye, Bye Darcy. Bye, guys. <laughs> Another day at SLC. She's our oh absent-minded professor. <laughs> There's also a light that's outside the door that's big and red. That says uh -huh. Well, did somebody okay. plug it in? It was. It was on when I came in. That's good. In any case, we're getting a new line of wallet interiors, guys, that we aren't making here. So that's super exciting. Just they're not ready yet. So please don't email and call about them. But that we're, we're working on them. They're going to be similar to our Taylor Finelli style interiors. Mm -hmm. uh, on the 21 Crazy Days, we had all the patterns were 25% off. But that's over. So I don't think we'll have, I don't think there's any new sales through the end of the year. Um, we did find some more of our um, lightweight black Herman Oak that we had for the 21 Crazy Days. So that should be in like steals and deals. <laughs> Um, we should have another, I think, 70 or so sides of that if you're interested in, in buying more or getting one of those. They're a little bit more expensive than they were when, when we had them on the 21 Crazy Days. But Andy, I really wish you hadn't uh, sewed the other one twice because now I have to do this one again. Well, you can undo that one. You're, you're sewing oh, it on. Never mind. Yeah, no, it's, it's already on. <laughs> it's, too, it's too late now. It's too late. How's it going? Um... We're almost there to see if I, I messed up somewhere. Cool. That's exciting. Oh, and Zero wanted us to make sure that we're calling it Shaps and not Chaps. Thank you. I'm never going to be able to get that correct. Not ever. <laughs> Shaps? Yeah, Shaps. 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 Not, not C-H with a ch sound. But C-H with an S-H sound. S. Shaps. Because it's, it's French, right? Or is it Spanish? The original. Chapaderos? Yeah. Chaps. <laughs> I know that's tapaderos. I wonder what I other know. words I'm getting wrong. <laughs> what other, other words am I saying wrong? <laughs> we already give away the journals that we made. <clears throat> oh. oh. Last week. Did Denny get those done? We um, have not given them away yet. No, we have not given them away. Um, I don't know if Denny's finished them yet because I haven't talked to him today and this is his first day that he's here this week. Um, he has got the backs finished. Okay. But not the. Thanks, rest Andy. Of it. Yeah. Look at that. When did you get so the probably the next week. Mm -hmm. We'll get the interiors done and then we'll. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze, but. Maybe that's didn't. what he could do on Friday. <laughs> now you got don't you have fancy moccasins you're doing on Friday? We're not we're not sure yet. Oh. I think Andy might give up on moccasins. <laughs> Guess it depends on how these next three holes go. <laughs> this, this would be a good project for a cold winter day. I was going to say if I had a white piece of paper I could stick behind it. I mean, you have this. They're all double sided. All right. You kind of have this, you could put it up your teeth. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see. I see everything you're doing here. Not the easiest. Uh, oh, there you go. So you have to basically go through the vamp twice before you go through the outside.
Well, Andy, are you guys working on anything fun over there in R and D? Uh, working on updating a lot of our patterns and doing videos like these for some patterns that are not necessarily the easiest to comprehend. Like this one? You've done marvelous so far explaining all the <laughs> all the complicated parts of this. Maybe. <laughs> Danny said it was Spanish. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's okay. chaperones. Is that right? No. No, also not right. Okay. <laughs> Danny, why help you, us. I don't know why you believe anything that comes out of my mouth. Yeah, I should stop doing that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take up all my slack here. Okay. Can you do it differently than that? Okay. <laughs> it is from a Spanish word. I know that it is, I just don't remember what it is. Shafts derived from the Zahones, used in southern Spain by vaqueros. Well, not only are you getting a leather lesson, you're also getting a history lesson. Shotgun shafts, also known as stovepipes, batwing, chinks, armidas, farrier apron, woolies. Oop. I bet you they call them different things to based on the region, because I'm sure that people who are in the cold weather have to wear... The woolies? The woolies. Well, it has to do with what you're making them yeah. out of. So woolies are actually... Alpaca. Mm -hmm. One of our customers, I've got a picture, I think his name is Richard something, but I don't remember what his last name is. And he has a pair of amazing woolies that he wore in one day. And I got a picture of him and Kevin with those on. Oh, this is get, it's getting to the temperatures where I wouldn't mind wearing a pair of woolies when I had to go outside. I'm such a wimp in the cold weather. I hate it so much. I run everywhere because I can't walk slow. I'm always leaving Chris behind. Chris and the dogs. <laughs> Nick literally ran from his car to the store, which is like a block away because we have to park all the way at the end of the parking lot because there's too many of us. Chaparros. Chaparros. That's the full word. Thank you. Did you Google that or did somebody tell you? I Wikipedia'd it. Mm -hmm. Ask Jeeves. Help me out, Jeeves. How's it going, Andy? Um, slowly. Okay. You got a lot of slack in there. Yep. Good gracious, that's like a that's like a two foot of slack. Well, because he was nervous stitching it, even though he was gonna pull it out. I, I may or may not have missed a uh, inside stitch because somebody was talking to me. <laughs> but it's inside, so you can't tell. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so don't don't blame the narrator, okay? Well, it could have been me talking. Oh, okay. You said somebody was talking to you. Oh. Oh, maybe I was <laughs> talking to myself. <laughs> Quit talking. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wait. You should be able to do this and talk. You, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the quietest I've ever been in my whole life. Whole life. Even when she was a baby. It's all that concentrating difficult. Even even when I'm typing, I'm not quiet because my keyboard is so loud. I share an office with Chris and he was on a conference call the other day and I was over there. Oh, I was putting in estimates from the live sale and he had to tell me to, to type quieter like five <laughs> times because my keyboard was so loud and I was like aggressively typing like the, the little notes to people that was like, hey, your order's done now. Please pay for it. Like we're finished adding things. And he would be like, shh, Liz, stop typing so loudly. 
get shushed even when I'm when I'm not talking. Ew. <laughs> Abigail was such a loud typer when she was in here. I don't Didn't know how to make a video about her. I don't know how Nick makes that keyboard be so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't beat it up. <laughs> you just have to type. You don't have to hammer away on it. Sure you do. I did, I did. Just moved to get you on the camera, Andy. And now you can be moving your moccasin everywhere. I need a little square on the table. <laughs> Please stay here. We had them, but I had to clean it because Denny dumped something all over the table. Bl blame it on Denny. Oh, he dumped, he dumped, that was when he dumped all that stain all over the table. It wasn't when Clayton dumped all the glue all over the table? Okay. Or was that Denny too? Mm -hmm. No, that was clean. That was clean. That was clean. That was clean. Yeah. All right. Well, I've got the other heel part assembled, so you know. Kaden's craft work. Just ordered some SLC goodies. Ooh. Uh, Chevy Guy says, if you have a mechanical keyboard, you don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your colors that you picked out, Andy. They don't show up on video very well. They're beautiful. And I think they show up fine. It's a thread that you could probably use to white. Well, and I, it's also... Or natural. Yeah. Oh, on, say, a, on the yeah, black table with the to, black. We need a new tabletop. Yeah. It's actually dark brown. Well, I can pull it off after this video is done. We can glue some of that you white should. colored stuff on there. <laughs> That's, no, the, we don't, no, we don't want polyboard should, on here. Not that. Not the, the well, white. Well, you, you can put poly on one side. Mm -hmm. Sure. We've got a big slab of it over there. Oh, yeah, back to the moccasins. We're coming up. It looks like we're trying to close her up here, yeah? Yeah, because I missed that one stitch. Um, I've got one extra hole on my heel. Uh -oh. Okay, we're just trying to figure out how to cover it up. With magic. That's how I would do it. <laughs> In case y'all didn't know, Liz is a magician. Yes. I never said I was a professional. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how you interviewed. You were like, I do leather work. <laughs> I, w I wasn't there, I though. do all the things with leather. If there's a thing and it involves leather, I can do it. Or wood. Or wood. The thing that involves another thing. Or welding. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a welder. Maybe we should just weld. Andy's, it Andy's a jack of all trades. Master of none. <laughs> I'm just going to keep burnishing the shoe. <laughs> Dean says, start over, add a zipper. <laughs> I added the zipper. Just part. hand stitch the zipper. I'm surprised he hasn't said that we have, if we were putting a zipper in this. Or maybe I just missed it. So you could also, if you wanted to do a rubber sole, instead of doing um, this piece of leather here on the bottom, if you had a thin piece of, of rubber crepe, well, you that could pound board that we sell. sell that. Yeah, the pounder would be a pretty intense sole, but that would definitely, it is soling. That's what it's sold for. You wear in them. Yeah. So if you wanted to do something besides a leather sole, you would just sew it, sew it to here, just like Andy assembled this one, and you'd be, you'd be good to go. I do still think putting a little leather topper on it would look nice. That would just add a nice finish side to the top instead of just doing like a piece the, of rubber. Uh, oh, uh, on here? Or up there. Yeah, like what yeah. you've got here. Putting Still putting a piece of, of leather on top, sewing it through. And honestly, have you tried sewing Pando on the 26th? I have not. Okay. I know the class 3 and the class 4 can definitely sew through the Pando. Um, or if you have a thinner crepe material um, for soling, it'll... It'll sew through that. And then the 26 should sew through something thinner. I don't know how well the 26 would do um, with a thick rubber like this Poundo. We have that French guy in here. I love crepes. I love crepes, too. You keep talking about crepes, though. They're making me hungry. <laughs> I'm not, I mean... <laughs> Dean says I can comment about a zipper if you want me to. <laughs> Nice, Joanne got the pattern. This one? Just now, right now, when you're watching us, you bought some stuff, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Even Looking. though we talked about, we, we were busy talking about stuff that wasn't moccasins for a while. <laughs> Can you imagine that? 
<laughs> I wander everywhere all the time. Jessica says her internet's being lame today. We just got fiber installed at my house. I, I, I don't know if it's up and running yet, but um, it's there. Just got it there. It's running away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're right. <laughs> There's some good old Tony jokes for you. You can tell Tony's a good dad by the way he jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I was this way when I didn't have kids. Some people just call it lame. <laughs> you want to, like, toodle over here? Andy wanders why he works. <laughs> yep, yeah, my mind wanders as well. Yeah. That's why you have missing holes. <laughs> so you just gonna tie a knot in this, or what are you doing there? Uh, well, I went through my last hole, uh -huh. but this needs to go back through the same hole, and then I'm gonna figure out how to tie it on the inside. As long as you make all the all the mistakes on the on the inside of your shoe, nobody's gonna see it. Yep. <laughs> and as long as you make the same mistakes on the other, it will look the exact same. Exactly. So just make sure you document the funky way you put it together and re repeat that. Good to go. Dean and Zero both said fiber are good for you, just in their own unique ways. <laughs> Not the kind of fiber I think you got. <laughs> Let's see, John said, I think slippers would be good with lace instead of stitching. How would you change the pattern to use lace? I don't think I'd change the pattern, just change the size of your hole. Yeah, you've got quite a bit of room between holes here, so you could make it um, bigger. I wouldn't probably use, like, this size lace, because that's going to be, those those holes would be way too close together if you tried to accommodate, like, this if you, did the king, lace. if you did the kangaroo, or you would probably need to bevel the size of your lace to make it lay down a little bit better. You could do the three thirty seconds. It is. Yeah. Yeah, you could do the three thirty seconds kangaroo. Bye, Mike. We're just tying a knot on the inside. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it yet. You don't know. I think um, we can do the top down. Well, it's black. Hard. That looks great in there. <laughs> I'm gonna go in be in between the layers. Yeah, I can't. Okay, so you've got where your heel is coming up into into the shoe, so you're going to try to thread it through there? Yep. So, so you can conceal that? So your knot will be not touching anything your foot touches. Because you've got, you've got this length of four holes between where all this overlaps. So he's got some room here to, to put his knot so that it's not rubbing against the foot. Smart little cookie, this Andy. What if you line these with fragment? You could... I would probably do a shearling. The problem... Maybe with, you get shearling on the bottom, but wrap it around all the other that touch the top part of your, part of your foot. Yeah, you could glue rabbit to the back of this. The biggest issue with rabbit is cutting the fur to where it looks nice. Because it lays one directionally. Like, that's the really great thing about shearling, is it just is like this, like, poofy fro, right? So there's no, like, direction to the hair necessarily. But with rabbit, you have a direction to the hair. So when you cut it, sometimes it can be a little bit weird. Yeah. But you could definitely, like, if you got the $50 boxes with the shearling that came in them, they have a, it's a pretty thin, fine shearling with a really fine nap. So if you cut the base here, you could definitely line it with that little shearling, which would give you a little bit of, of comfort and a little softness to the bottom of your of your shoe here and not take up a lot of room. Like if you were to use something like the bark shearling that we put on the gun caddy last week, that is a really thick pile. And so it would make it will make the shoe really tight if you use that. But if you use a, a shearling with a really fine, um, thin pile, it shouldn't really affect the amount of room that you have on in your toe box. Or at least it'll kind of cushion down and it shouldn't be too tight. 
Did you get it? Maybe. Possibly. Andy, did you cut your own lace? I did cut my own lace. I can tell that because it's wrapped around a piece of cardboard. <laughs> well, that's not how it comes. <laughs> uh, one more time about the leather that we're using. Brenna says she was late to the show. It's been two weeks since she's been in the, the store and she's suffering with draws. Oh, no. But she wants to know about leather. Luna bag size, right? Yep, this is the Luna bag size. If you type Luna into the website, it should pop up or... We call it, we've got it in the black, and then we've got this whiskey color. So it's just a thin upholstery leather. I think we've got it at a pretty good deal right now. Is it like two, three bucks a foot, something? Uh, I'm well, not talk sure. Talk to Kevin, he'll sell you stuff at any price that he wants. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, rabbit, it's, it's how, how, how durable, tough is Rabbit? I don't think it would have any tape, never mind. Um, is it pretty, does it pull out of the hind? I, I've never used it. No, it doesn't. I I mean, if you cut it, you're going to have some hair loss, obviously, where you cut it. But it's, I feel like it's pretty durable. Oh, is that where all my hair is going? I keep getting cut? Mm-hmm. I yeah. got hair loss? Andy, have you worked with rabbit much to where I have not. Yeah, I don't. It. I mean, you can pet them all day and the hair doesn't really fall out. So I would imagine that it, it's fine. Is it hair or is it fur? It's, Yes. Is there a difference? That's not an answer to the question. <laughs> oh, what are you doing now, Andy? What do we got? Uh, what are we doing? Trying to get the lace through the heel. And you have a permalock needle on? Yeah, a permalock needle. Is that a pencil? It, it might be a pencil. Coat, okay. The coat hanger would work good, too. So instead of a permalock needle, he just used a pencil and he just taped it. To the lace. <laughs> I like it. It works. It did work. Okay. Oh, and so then you just you just threaded it through, which is why this is so big. Yes. So that you can get that lace through the heel part. Okay. So he just he just opened up your little heel gusset, this little heel roll, put the lace all the way through there, and then you tie it up. Hey, we got a shoe. That white veg is very white right there. Are you going to put it on your foot for us? <laughs> we'll see. Does it fit? Now's the test. To the, to the big, oh yeah, just put your foot right here. Get a good stretch. In. <laughs> oh, hip cramp. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can move the camera to the floor. I'm getting yeah. old. What are you, like 25? No. <laughs> 26. 25 and a half, actually. 31. Whoa. No. I know. Wrong. Wrong. Sorry. Wow. Wow. You're real old. <laughs> Not as old as Tony. It's okay. Uh, I think he's going over here. Uh, go, he just he moved it to the floor. Go stand by the trash can on it. No, go right stand here. by the trash can. Behind the you. Trash can. Back here. All the way over here. Yep. Yeah. There you go, now you can kind of see where I'm at oh. on the camera. No, but you can't because you can't. Literally on. Back. There it is. Back towards this. this, back this, here. this, this You're direction. going the wrong way. There it is. There you go. <laughs> Look so at would that. you trim you would trim the sole then? Um the white part there? The white part I had I mean you can make it a little smaller. I made it wide enough so you could get the the pressure foot on the sewing machine on there. But I don't know. I would probably leave it. Help, there it is, help, guys. Helps you see you don't stub your toe. You stub the the sole first. Exactly. I don't think it looks bad. Andy, and that Andy's mom is watching. She says that she uses a crochet hook. Ah, to pull the lace through. That's a good. That's a good call, Dolores. Dee Dee, is it? Dee Dee. Dolores. Dolores. D. 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 Cool. Crazy guys, Blade wants to know if we sell pencils. You. I know we sell pens. Mm -hmm. I don't know about pencils. I don't think so, but I'm sure in one of your drawers at home, we all have that drawer that has all the weird stuff in it. <laughs> but he's in Australia, so you could probably just use a pen. pencil because the shipping is going to be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't buy pencils here. Oh, man. That'd be funny. Hey, we got moccasins done. We got a moccasin done. Okay, we got, well... It's, you know, it's like 75%. She, she gave up on hers. How are those moccasins on the table 
how did those are those different? Uh, they just have the inside. They don't have the outer sole. So these yeah. just have, it's just a leather bottom. But otherwise, construction, they are the same. Um, they just have this added uh, padding yeah. in here. Um, so, yep. Which, in the directions, it actually shows to do that. Look at that. So you can either do that or not do that once again. That's why there's a pattern. Yep. So that you can do whatever you want. Well, I don't think it's so you can, you can follow along with the instructions and, then and make you any alterations you wish. There you go. <laughs> All righty, Roo, guys. We, we have, have made packages, a moccasin. Tony and I still have many orders to attempt to fill and exotic boxes to produce. So we're going we're gonna to do that, and we will be back. Tony, are we going to... We're probably not going to sell stuff tomorrow, but we will be announcing. I think we're going to announce kay. our SLC 15, 15 challenge. challenge winner. Yeah, so tomorrow at 2, um, we won't be doing a live sale, but we will be here on Facebook. We will be, I guess we could do it on all of them if we're not selling stuff. We can. Yeah, so we, we'll stream on all um, platforms tomorrow at 2 um, Central Time to announce the winner of the SLC 15 Challenge. $100 gift card. $100 gift card. For those that entered that, thank you very much for your participation. All of those entries were really phenomenal. Um, you guys did a great job. Hopefully you had a good time with it. Um, but anyway, so we'll see you tomorrow, and then we'll be back on Friday doing something. We'll do something. Hang out on Twitch for a little bit if you want. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys.